What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best pressure washer to start your business. But before we get into today's video, I want to let you guys know that me and Aaron recently built out a group to help you guys with ongoing pressure washing questions. We go live every other week talking about Google My Business, Facebook ads, as well as helping you to improve your marketing. You'll also get free courses when you join. So if you're interested, click the first link in the comment section and description to learn more. But with that out of the way, on to the topic of today's video. So today's video, we're going to be talking about the best pressure washer to start your business. And basically, the best pressure washer to start your business is going to be whatever pressure washer you can get your hands on first and foremost. So I'm going to be going more in depth in just a second on what to buy and what not to buy. However, for me, when I got my business going, I was about 20 years old. I was doing pressure washing and landscaping, and I used a 2.5 GPM unit with 2,500 PSI that my dad had in his garage. So it had a Honda engine on it, um, and I basically used it until the motor locked up. Now, I probably made about ten dollars to $15,000 with this pressure washer that I basically found in my dad's garage for free. So talk about no overhead. Um, so if you're just starting out, I would advise you to use whatever you can get your hands on first and foremost and then reinvest back into the business. But let's say that you have some money to spend um, to buy a unit. I'm basically going to go ahead and give you some criteria to follow uh, when making your purchasing decision. and. Like I said, this is basically just my opinion. You can do whatever you want to do. But firstly, I would never go with an electric pressure washer. They need to be plugged in uh, in order to be used. So now you've basically created a more complicated situation for yourself because not only are you hauling around a pressure washer, you also have to worry about hoses and cords and getting water where the cord is plugged in. It's just a nightmare. So I would not recommend a electric pressure washer. Also, they typically have little to no power. Um, so the jobs are going to take much more time. Um, and then lastly, it just kind of looks unprofessional. It gives you another thing to be hauling around the yard and you have to disclose to the homeowner that you're going to be using their electricity uh, in order to wash their house. So like I said, up to you if you want to use an electric pressure washer. I just wouldn't advise it. I always recommend a minimum of 2,500 PSI and 2.5 gallons per minute because this is what I started with. This is what I know. Um, and I know you can find these types of machines for about $250 to $400, which you should be able to make back in about a job. Um, so if you're looking to go this route, I would highly recommend buying from like Lowe's or Home Depot and then getting a warranty with your machine. Uh, just be sure to keep your receipt. And if it ever were to break, you can just bring it back in and exchange it for a new one. Uh, the employees typically don't ask many questions and it's just a good backup policy to have in case your machine ever goes down. These types of warranties are also probably mostly intended for homeowners. However, it doesn't specify. So I would advise to get a warranty, keep the receipt. And if anything ever happens to the machine, just bring it back and exchange it. Because typically you can get a warranty through Home Depot for three, three to five years. And if anything goes wrong with it, you can bring it back and exchange it. Just be clear that you ask is this a warranty through Home Depot or through the manufacturer? Because if you get one through the manufacturer, then you're going to have to ship it to them and it's going to be a whole dilemma. So anyway, with buying machines, that's just something that I recommend because it always gives you peace of mind to know that if anything were to happen, you can always bring it back and exchange it uh, with no cost to you. So now if you have more cash, you know, more than about 250 to $500, I would say that you should go for a four gallon per minute washer. So basically it's the opposite of what I thought it was whenever I first started. I used to think that the higher the PSI was, uh, the better the machine was because then we can just spray off anything. However, soft washing is a much safer method uh, for most surfaces. So PSI is basically irrelevant. And if you guys don't know what soft washing is, essentially it's using chemical uh, to do the work for you because basically what we're doing is we're killing the organic matter uh, that is growing on whatever surfaces it is that we're cleaning. And you guys can imagine, you know, 2,500 PSI is plenty PSI. Uh, with some of these higher end units, you're going to get up to about 4,000 PSI. You really want to be careful with the tips that you're using because if you use a red tip on some vinyl siding or even some stucco, you can really do some damage. So that's why I always say those first couple jobs, do them for friends and family because if you mess up with for friends and family, they're going to be much more forgiving than somebody who um, is just hiring you and doesn't even know you. So PSI is less relevant than what gallons per minute is. Gallons per minute is going to be your flow rate and having a higher flow rate is going to help you with soft washing as well as surface cleaner. So for example, if you guys want to use the big yellow disc that I use in my videos, then the higher the flow rate on that machine, the better that surface cleaner is going to be able to clean. However, if you go over four gallons per minute, um, then you'll need a buffer tank and you can no longer use the customer's water spigot because the water spigot's only graded for about four gallons per minute. So sum everything up. Uh, these are my tips for you guys to start your business. I would use whatever you have first, whatever's in the garage, whatever uncle has mom has dad has whatever they have use that first obviously practice on your family's houses first don't just run out and do a bunch of work for people you don't know when you haven't practiced and put the time in with your machine 
Um, if you're gonna buy, I would not buy electric. I would buy 2,500 PSI, 2.5 gallons per minute at the bare minimum. I would always recommend a Honda engine because those perform the best for me. I always buy Honda engines. You can upgrade the pump and you can do some different things to it, but I'm gonna save that for another video. And then lastly, the higher GPM, um, the better it is for actually cleaning because we wanna be soft washing and not pressure washing. And then also, if you're gonna buy some of these lower end units, I would definitely recommend going through a Home Depot or a Lowe's because they come with a great warranty. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out. If y'all have any other questions with regards to equipment, with regards to pressure washing, with regards to what should you get, what should you do, um, leave it down in the comment section. I'll try to make a video on it. But like I said, if you hop in the group, you can get all your questions answered. So that's the first link in the comment section description. Every video has a word of the day. So the word of the day for this one is going to be washer. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment down below washer and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.